My name is Raheem Mystery, and I'm here with Eric Wolf. We're both solution marketing managers within the Borderless Networks team, and today we're going to talk to you about the relevance of the network with regard to your desktop virtualization rollout. So first of all, desktop virtualization is a very complex buying decision because it actually impacts several groups within your organization, your IT organization that is. You've got your data center folks making decisions with regard to desktop virtualization. You've got your um, folks working at, with the endpoints and making decisions on that. And then of course, in the area that we work with, the networking buying, uh, the network buying center. That's an important area as well. So Eric, I'd like to talk to you about the network buyers and the kind of considerations they should be thinking about mm -hmm. with regard to their desktop virtualization rollouts. Absolutely. So the great news about desktop virtualization and the networking guy is that on the LAN, there's absolutely no problem. But when you try to push a desktop virtualization all around the world to all the users and really try to sort of cover the world with desktop virtualization, really commit to it, you can run into problems on the way. Right. And that's absolutely critical that you do get to all those remote sites because that's where most of your workers are and somehow you do need to reach them if you want to do a full rollout of desktop virtualization. Absolutely. So what kind of problems are they going to have to solve to get over the WAN to these remote sites? The main problem that the WAN does to desktop virtualization is a lack of bandwidth. Okay. Um, when you don't have enough bandwidth to uh, free up room for the desktop virtualization traffic, it's different from local computing where all the real-time stuff happens on the desktop right. and the only time you ever go on the WAN is to maybe get some data. But when you're doing desktop virtualization, the entire commute computing experience is coming over the WAN. Right. Okay. And the problem there is that for most of our customers, um, they have hundreds to thousands of branches around the world and they're stuck with um, low speed links because of the limitations of the telecommunications infrastructure around the world. I see. Okay. And the result is that it could be cost prohibitive to try to add additional bandwidth to try to uh, make your WAN based uh, virtual desktop infrastructure or desktop virtualization um, initiatives successful. So what do you do? What are your alternatives? Well, uh, one thing that uh, you can do to start is deploy uh, WAN optimization, such as Cisco Wide Area Application Services, or WADS. Okay. WAN optimization uh, can free up bandwidth and manage bandwidth better to enable desktop virtualization traffic to get its fair share of the available bandwidth. I see. Okay. Well, that's great, because that's going to take care of one of the big issues out of the branch. What other issues could be addressed at the branch to help support desktop virtualization? Another example of a problem that we really want to solve at the branch is exemplified by people like you and me. For example, I have an iPad and Cisco is evolving to a gigantic um, uh, organization of branches. And I'd like to use my iPad, but Cisco IT wants me to use my iPad with desktop virtualization because they know that my iPad doesn't have local storage and they can't protect it, etc. Right. So if I want to use my iPad in the branch, I need wireless in the branch. And the great thing about Cisco's offerings is that on our integrated services routers, you can deploy WAN optimization, wireless, security, uh, local services with um, Cisco UCS Express. Right. And so you can solve the entire branch problem and make it a good place for desktop virtualization with a Cisco ISR. That's fantastic, because the ISR already plays such a big role on supporting our customers with their physical desktops. Mm -hmm. Now that same investment that they've made in the ISR is relevant for their rollout for virtual desktops. Absolutely true. It's a great solution for desktop virtualization. 